Hi everyone, this is Theo from ProcoBlocks.com. Today I'm going to show you this fountain pen called the Basic Fountain Pen made by Faber Castell. So the name of this fountain pen is actually called Basic. And in this Basic series of pens, Faber Castell makes two types. One is the rollerball and one is the fountain pen. And for each type of pen, they have different types of body. So the one that I have has a leather body. There is also the carbon body and the shiny chrome body. So today let's take a look at this basic fountain pen with the leather body. This is the cap with a curved clip. And the surface is like some sort of rubbery surface, but it's very solid. It feels a bit sticky though. When I first bought it, it was quite smooth, but in this humid climate here in Singapore, rubber it doesn't work too well so over time they will start to be sticky. This is still not too bad. This is the nib and the grip section. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly but this grip section is made of some hard rubber with some special coating but over time it became sticky in the humid climate so this is not a pen that I would recommend to those living in humid countries so it's now very sticky and it's very uncomfortable to use and this is one of my least used fountain pens this is a steel nib mine is fine I think they are also sold with medium but this nib is quite easy to remove. I'll show that to you later. Take a look at the rubber grip section. This is so sticky. And this is the back of the nib. Let's take a look at the leather body. This is actually one piece of leather that is wrapped around a cylindrical body. I'm not sure what's the exact type of leather that's used. Now this is the stitching here. It's very neat and tidy. There is probably some sort of treatment on the leather because it feels very smooth. There is some slight gloss to it. And leather, I think it still works in humid climate because this is not sticky. But in humid climate, there is another problem, which is um, leather can grow mold, they can become moldy. So there is definitely some treatment here to prevent the mold from growing because I haven't used this fountain pen for months and there is no sign of mold. So this is quite good. And right at the end here is a shiny chrome uh, end. This end is very shiny and very reflective. This pen has a nice weight. It's not too heavy and it's not too light. And the length of it is pretty standard. It's not too short or long. And I think it's quite nice to hold except for the sticky grip. So let's dismantle the pen and see what's inside. It comes with a ink cartridge that is disposable so you do need to buy the Faber Castell ink converter to easily refill the ink. The nib is very easy to remove, you just twist it in anti-clockwise manner and this is out. And this section here can be removed as well but be careful not to lose this because this is very small and this is the grip section. This is made of, I, I'm not sure what this material is, but it's very lightweight. And this is actually a plastic body. This part here, this section here is actually plastic, so I'm not sure if it extends all the way inside, but this part here is, uh, the end part is metal. You can easily replace this nib with other Faber Castell nibs. So I have another Faber Castell pen with me. This is the Faber Castell Ambition with a custom nib. And I can remove this as well. Let me open this up and twist this. So they are the same size. 
and I can put this into the basic body oops sorry it should be here you do need to put in the ring again put this first before you put this grip section back in so it's very easy to swap out the nib and now let me assemble the pen so that I can refill it with ink to show you the lines that you can create. By the way, this is the Faber Castell ink converter. Oops, I think this ink converter it actually doesn't fit into this body. So I've got to basically use this disposable uh, cartridge. I'm pretty sure you can use some sort of ink converter instead of the disposable cartridge. I will find out more information about that and post it in the video description. Now I'm going to use my syringe with ink to refill this disposable cartridge. Let me put this back. By the way, I forgot to mention that this nib, it doesn't have that breather hole. So usually fountain pens, their nib, they have this little breather hole at the back. But this faber Castell Basic, it doesn't have that. The nib is quite stiff. Ink flow is good enough. This is a fine nib, so the lines, they are a bit thinner. Now the bottom part, the body, it's actually slightly thicker compared to the grip section. So this is the leather body that I'm drawing. That's the stitching. And this is the shiny chrome end. Basic. And the ink that I'm using is the Noodleless ink. It's waterproof and dry. I like to use this with watercolor. The writing performance or drawing performance of this pen is very standard. The lines are quite thin. Let me switch over to the other side and see if I can get even thinner lines. It's a very stiff nib. I guess if you want to press down harder, you can get thicker lines. But generally speaking, it's a bit too stiff to do that often. So to conclude, the build quality of the pen is nice, except for the rubber coating on the grip and uh, cap. If you live in a humid climate, these two, they are very likely going to get sticky in the future if you live in a dry climate then this may not be a problem the writing performance is pretty standard it's smooth on the paper surface it writes well i think that's all for my review today if you have any questions feel free to post them in the comment section below i will post a link to my text review so that if there's any update, you can read about it there. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.